Well, now we'll take you on a tour of the meat plant. Uh, they're just wrapping up for the day on a Friday. Uh, kind of a perfect time, a little bit of activity, but we kind of had the plant to ourselves. Um, so this is the office we're coming in through the entrance. And uh, we'll take you over to the raw processing first. We have the main wall that uh, runs down the middle of the plant. Everything that happens on this side of the plant is raw processing. So this is raw meat. As soon as it passes over this threshold, goes into this side of the plant, it is ready to eat or has been cooked or cured and ready to get into packaging. So we moved into this plant about a year and a half ago. It was a big warehousing plant for Tazo tea. It was all full of uh, pallet racking. We came in here and uh, mapped out what we thought would be a nice layout put in all the floor drains, move the electricity, and kind of laid it out for the ideal, at least in our process, processing plant. Uh, here's where we have our tilt skillet and we do the majority of our cooking. Simple machine, you know, we cook all of our pate mixes in here. We'll boil up the ham brines. Riette is made inside of here, et cetera, et cetera. Inside here are our smoke houses. These are uh, made in Clackamas, Oregon. Really awesome, full stainless steels, real smoke generator, beautiful smoke houses. Makes all of our cooked meats in here, except the rillette, but we smoke all of our bacon, ham, sausages inside of here, and we also steam our pâtés and whatnot. As I was saying, it is a real chip generator. Uh, it burns real wood chips on a heat source. So this is actual, uh, you know, uh, two thirds of it is apple wood, one third is hickory. I love these things, they're amazing machines. This is the USDA's office. Since they're here so much, they need a place to store all their files and make sure they're here. It's also the production kitchen's office. So you have the Josh, Joe, Pauly, all the guys have their production office right there, keep their files all safe and sound. Here is the uh, recipe kitchen. So this is where uh, we formulate all of our recipes for the salami and every sausage we're gonna make. It's a very crucial part to our process, um, you know, here, for example, we have all the sausages that we'll be producing tomorrow. Um, I find it very important that uh, we use whole spices, for example. You see here we have the black peppercorn, so when we get in here in the morning at 6 in the morning to process, we'll run this through a coffee grinder. Make sure we capture the freshest spices here. You see there's fresh coriander, chili flake, and fennel. Really important to our process is to making sure that we grind all these spices to capture it at the very highest level of flavor. Um, we receive the highest quality products. This is our smoked uh, paprika that goes in every one of our chorizos. You can see here if we're using a fresh garlic or onions, it's actual real onions. It's very unique in the meat processing world that we're still hand processing. And so we're gonna keep doing it this way. This is essentially the way that I've been doing it ever since we've started this process and is the way that we'll do it from here on out. So this is our portioner. It is a VMAG riser machine. What happens during the week, we run our sausage lines this way. We'll set up all the tables. The meat will come in here. We will uh, have a line of people standing out here. And uh, every time you hear that clicking, that's another salami getting portioned right there. And then once it gets pushed out onto the table, we come back and we hand link them, make sure they're the right size, 
shape, portion, then we hang them up and then they go off into the different, if they're going to the salami, they go to fermentation. If they're going to the smokehouse, they'll get hung here. If they need to cure a bit longer in the fridge, they'll sit up in the fridge. But this is where every single sausage comes pumped through or pate gets pumped through and portioned out of right here. So here's the processing kitchen. This is where we sit and butcher and formulate all the sausages. So uh, we'll get all the animals in during the week. We'll have all the cutting tables up in the middle of the room and we'll be hand butchering here all day long, cutting up the pork, making sure it's all put in the right areas and getting it exactly where we want. This here is when I say we do 100% lean meat. This is a, the hams and the legs that we completely deboned, took all the sinew and everything out. And this is what makes up the majority of the meat for our salami. And we have our sweetheart hams marinating back here. I'll go ahead and open those up and you can take a look at those too. Just a few of the sausages that we produced today in here to chill. So right when they get here tomorrow morning, we can wheel these right into the smokehouse in the oven and we can get the process going. Here we have our horseshoe kielbasas, some uh, smoked chorizo and dewey and smoked kazakriner. And then at the end down there, we have uh, some capicola. So this is the bull chopper. Uh, besides salami, this is where everything is produced. This is a big bowl that rotates in a circle and we got eight big sharp blades that rotate really, really fast. And this is where we make all the emulsifications for all the sausages. Uh, it's also my station. This is where I get to work every day. So if I'm not answering an email, it's because I'm standing right here making sausage, which is the best. So this is the uh, salami incubator. Uh, what happens here is essentially a giant meat sauna. Uh, it's where we put our salamis in to get the cultures activated to bring the pH down. Real simple machine, just has a humidifier, so it has pasteurized water in it, and heat source, just a giant sauna. It's where all the molds start to form and the pH drops. Our dry box. This is the most crucial part of the entire process, but I really tried my hardest to find the right amount of trickle and the right amount of air rotation and temperature control that develops something that is completely unique to us. We are using a completely natural mold on the outside. We like to call it in the salami world is our house flora. So the salamis come in, they're all tied into knots like this. We come in every morning and we make sure that we uh, space them up so they're separated. If they touch, you'll see little lines. The molds won't form. They'll become anaerobic and make a different color. So every day we come in and we inspect every single one of them to make sure that they're hanging perfectly straight. Uh, so this is where we harvest all the salami. So we bring in the finished salami in here. We clip them all off. And then we stand and we package them all, roll them into things place them into the uh, appropriate box and then off to the shipping room. Real quick, we'll show you the uh, fabrication shop where we build all of our racks and all the stuff for everything. It's kind of a fun thing to see. Yeah, so this is uh, our fabrication shop. This is where we bring in all of our steel to uh, build all of the racks we hang our meat on or smoke our meat on, all of the fabrication that we do for the restaurants, be it new uh, charcuterie boards or A-frame signs, anything for the farmer's market, we're able to build it back here. It's kind of one of our favorite parts of the whole plant. It's quite fun. is our packaging line so the fresh sausage or the cooked sausages come in we put them into our cryovac bags and the super vac will run and seal it seal it pack it then it'll go into its box put it on its pallet it'll wheel around and go to its select spot then we'll ship it out to you <laughs> that's pretty much it
And that's it. That's the quick little tour of my little meat plant and kind of how we do it in a nutshell. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.